I think the very best thing about building your own trail is the process. Every day I go into the woods and I'm cutting something new. I really have no idea what it's going to be until it's finished. When you come into a, a new zone, the dirt is almost like your paint. It's a certain color, it's a certain texture, and you can find a really mossy, open section of forest, and the second you cut into that ground, you're hitting like red, mineral-rich soil. It really inspires the creativity. Being out and seeing an area and thinking of a way to weave a trail through that, it is an artistic expression, trying to create a narrative through the areas. There's a million different ways to build a section of trail, but everybody has their own, and it's kind of nice to put your own artistic touch on it. I think that's kind of been like one of my influences with trail building is like kind of the artistic side to it, right? I always have that in the back of my mind when I'm working on a trail. I'm trying to think of like a unique feature or something that's just visually nice to look at, not just ride nicely. Okay. I mean, we can always kind of help to our left more if we need. Right? Yeah. Kind of keep tracking that way. Like, even this right here, we've got probably 10, 15 degree slope. Mm -hmm. That's enough if the trail's straight and flowy, it'll keep the speeds up. I'm stoked Chris showed up today because he knows like how to work with land really well. And he can really like picture the flow and the grade and he knows what the ground's like. And I'm really technical when it comes to single features. It's a really awesome combo. Yeah, we're finding good stuff today. You can see how the train does this. Yeah. If we just try and make the trail follow along that, that slope, yeah. we'll get the most out of it. One of my biggest thoughts on, on building trails is reconnecting people with nature. I start looking at areas that I think are really cool, and if I think they're cool, then I'm pretty sure other people are going to enjoy them. And then I try and weave a trail through them. When we decided to build this this trail and do this project, Mark and I both were like, we gotta really push this trail to the next level. And doing so, we, we wanted to return something to the community that was gonna be amazing and, and epic. And I mean, I hope that everybody that rides it enjoys the, the heck out of it and sees the work that's gone into it. There is backbreaking labor <laughs> into this trail. There's a real thought process that goes into building stuff. Like the whole time you're building them, you're thinking how it's gonna ride, how it's gonna work. It's definitely a, a real joy and treat when, when it all comes together and you just, yeah, you get that awesome little five seconds of, oh, that was amazing. We are building this trail in Cumberland's sanctioned network and we really wanted to build something that was going to inspire the community and, and push it to the next level. The last hour has been a bit of a push for sure. How do I stay motivated when it's brutal? <laughs> I just keep getting yelled, get back in the dirt pit. <laughs> Hand building a flow trail that has inspirations of Whistler Bike Park or Coast Gravity Park. Yeah, ridiculous undertaking. Just massive 
you know, we started with buckets and we're like, oh yeah, we'll have like four or five buckets out here and we'll just go for it. Then two weeks that turned into, oh, we better bring a wheelbarrow out here. <laughs> but the thing is, it, it, it's so smooth and flowy. I mean, he's riding this on a hard tail and it just looks like so much fun. <laughs> It's been such a fun experience working with Chris on this project because he's a builder first and foremost and having something he's just as excited to ride as I am is such a cool feeling. When you can build a section of trail that the two of you enjoy together, it, it's amazing. So with Blueprint, we've got a couple of key sections on this trail that when we started walking the line, we're like, how amazing would it be to have like a zigzag section or a race section where you're basically racing each other into a corner. Having those playful moments on the trail is, is super awesome. You! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> God, so fun! It's so good! <laughs> so ridiculously fun! <laughs> I feel like creativity comes out a little more in hand-built trails. You take more time to really shape things up. You're not ripping apart the forest so much, and it's a slower process. There really was no other option in this trail other than to build it by hand and just do the work. Without trail building volunteers that put in hours of their free time to make these trails happen, we simply wouldn't have them. There would be nothing for us to ride, nothing to inspire us. That's what really motivates me. It is so good for the sport. It brings more people into riding, gets more people stoked. There's so much creativity in it, and you watch different trail builders, you see these unique features, and it makes you want to do the same thing yourself. You just have to get out there with a shovel, put in the hours, and you'll have something really fun that will last for years. If other people can see what we're doing, and like, besides just want to go out and ride it, be like, oh man, it'd be cool to go out and like, build a trail themselves. If we can inspire people to do that, that's great. The more people that are out there throwing dirt and creating trails and lines through the woods, the better. I mean, get out in nature, enjoy it. 